Gold prices edged higher Monday in London, extending the short covering rebound in Comex futures and options trading, which also saw silver rally hard last week, as the US stayed closed for President's Day, while China's financial markets reopened after the Lunar New Year holidays, writes Atsuko Whitehouse at Bullion Vault. The industrial precious metals of silver, platinum and palladium in contrast fell back. After registering the second weekly loss in a row, gold prices in the US dollar today held above $2,015 per ounce, recovering all but $1.10 of the $1.40 drop made following the hotter-than-expected US inflation data last Tuesday. Gold's rise has come on strong buying interest below $2,000, which protected the downside, prompting short-covering purchases, says Bruce Ikemizu, chief director of Japan Bullion Market Association, in his latest note, pointing to what had been a rise in bearish betting against gold in futures and options contracts. Also noting the accumulated short positions among speculative traders against precious metals, broad selling set up the end of weak squeeze, driving the rebound in gold, silver, platinum and palladium prices, says derivatives platform Saxo Bank's commodity strategist Ola Hansen. Weekly data show that, in the seven days ending last Tuesday, hedge funds and other leveraged speculators in COMEX gold futures and options kept their bullish betting on gold prices almost unchanged as a group, but increased their bearish betting sharply after that strong US consumer price data. Together, that shrank the net long position of managed money traders by more than two-fifths to its lowest in almost four months, just before Israel invaded Gaza in retaliation for Hamas's the 7th of October atrocities and kidnaps. Speculators also raised their bearish betting against silver prices, according to data published by U.S. regulator the Commodities Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, doubling their already net short position to the heaviest since early March 2023, just before the U.S. mini-banking crisis broke with the failure of Silicon Valley Bank. The price of silver then rebounded last week by over 6% from new three-week lows, regaining the whole dollar one per ounce it had lost, but slipped back 1.3% today to trade at $23.12. Managed money traders also grew their net short position on platinum to the largest in three months last week and set a fresh all-time bearish record against palladium. The tug-of-war between the selling of paper gold by US and European investors and the buying of physical gold by central banks and retail investors is likely to continue, Ikemizu stated, due to the postponement of a policy rate cut from the Federal Reserve as well as the People's Bank of China. Although the People's Bank of China held a key policy rate steady on Sunday, again disappointing hopes for monetary stimulus in the face of the world number two economy's worsening real estate slump, Chinese stock markets rose on Monday's return from the spring festival break, with the blue chip CSI 300 index up 0.5% amid upbeat travel and shopping data for the Lunar New Year holidays. As for US rates, the highest probability for the first cut from the Federal Reserve now comes in June, pushed back from a 90% certainty seen for March's Fed decision at the start of this year. Gold prices on the Shanghai Gold Exchange entry point for bullion into the precious metals' largest consumer market saw little change from before the holiday, remaining at 480 yuan per gram and continuing to show a strong premium over London quotes, with the incentive for new imports reaching a one-month high of $1.53 per troy ounce, 10 times its recent five-year average. European stocks slipped 0.1% on the continent-wide Stocksx Europe 600, clipping last week's 1.4% surge ahead of European inflation data. Gold priced in euros rose 0.3% to €1,874, Euros, while the UK gold price in pounds per ounce edged higher 0.1% to just below £1,600. Platinum, which finds two-thirds of its demand from industrial uses led by autocatalysts to cut carbon emission from fossil fuel engines, steadied above $900 per ounce after climbing 3.7% last week from multi-month lows, 
cutting platinum's discount to gold prices further from the all-time gap recorded early February at $1,153. Sister metal palladium, which finds well over four-fifths of its end-use demand from autocats, also fell back, cutting last week's 10% surge from new six-year lows to trade dollar 40 cheaper at $945 per troy ounce Monday. United States stock and bond markets were closed for President's Day. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.